Hey guys, just small update this time. It's nothing with piracy or this, that, and the other of my fun stuff. So I thought I'd update you with some small things I'm doing. Uh, right now, the most important things that I'm going to be doing, I recently went to Tandy and picked up a bunch of uh, leather, different grades, different things, uh, basically a resupply of stuff that I needed. Also, you know, like stains and stitching lace and sinew and stuff like that. Uh, the main reason is before the Ren Fair gets here, I need to build a scabbard for this. My uh, combat sword, actually. Uh, it is. I will be actually doing a few battles in the fair itself because I'm going to eventually become part of the fight team if I'm not already part of the fight team. I have no clue how that actually works. I'm just part of the reenactors who camp out on the hill and they wanted more people combat ready and uh, weapons trained so I'm every Friday night basically around six o'clock I'm in a I'm in a gym in a church uh, learning the basics behind uh, rapier and saber and on top of that we're actually uh, staging a few mock battles. Basically the pirates are going to try and take over the mariners this year and I won't tell you who wins or who loses but I'm in that battle and it's a three on three melee. Another thing that I'm doing uh, I'm actually going to try my foot in being a game master soon and I picked up a few books and it's not actually in the traditional setting for, you know, D20 campaigns, which would be, you know, either D&D &D or Pathfinder or what have you. The, the reason I got this all of a sudden inspiration, not really all of a sudden, I've always kind of wanted to try being a game master at one point or another, but one of, one of my favorite bands, which is a band that is not really widespread known is Abney Park and they do basically steampunk music. Uh, they were approached a couple years ago about having a uh, tabletop RPG designed around their songs by uh, the company Cubicle 7 and Cubicle 7 typically does the Heresy engine which uh, I guess the easiest one to think off the top of my head would be Call of Cthulhu. Um, they also do, you know, other things like Victoriana and stuff like that. Well, they created this uh, campaign setting and core rulebook for Abney Park called Airship Pirates. And uh, I started reading, I picked it up basically because I, I'm an avid fan of it and I love it. And I started reading through it and just loving the way that the campaign like the setting is you know just it's a post-apocalyptic world it's actually in the f near future but the timeline got so screwed up because someone decided to use time travel that they are in a neo-victorian state and it's just hilariously fun to read through the stuff but also i read through you know the rules and everything and they seem real easy to pick up real fast now, granted, you know, this core rule book has some shortcomings, and one of my gripes was there's only like 25 things in the bestiary total. So that could get boring real quick, and I went ahead and picked up a couple other things. Uh, basically, they came out with a uh, an expansion to it, uh, basically a campaign setting that will have more stuff. I'm waiting for that to come in the mail. But I also picked up, like I said, uh, Victoriana, which is basically, it's the same basic thing, except it's all Victorian age stuff. And unlike Airship Pirates, it does have a magic system in it, if I feel like instituting some sort of magic. It delves a little bit more with weapons. It's got a little bit bigger bestiary. So you can add those two together, and then it has the actual rules on how to competently make more for your bestiary. Um, so I know most likely I'll be trying to be the game master for 
me, myself, wow, I just said that. Me, myself, and I, uh, no, uh, I'll probably be the game master and I'll probably have Nancy and Alex in the party and if any of the others in our current Pathfinder game that Alex is heading want to play, I'll gladly have them along. I'm really in the incubation stage. I'm just kind of absorbing the material and coming up with basic ideas of what to do and how to do it and what maps might be like, what kind of hooks I might have in it. Past that, I have a long-term goal for, well, two goals, actually. Our current Pathfinder game, Alex has okayed the use of ships, and we have a ship in creation, and Alex really wants me to build a modular ship that we can use pieces to for like ship side combat and moving around on the ship whenever we actually get to the point of using the ship because we hit a major hook and we're going to be off onto the side which is at least going to buy me time to build this thing. My other long-term goal is next year for Comic-Con I'm going to be painstakingly basically making a costume for one of my favorite RPGs growing up which was uh Skies of Arcadia, and if anyone knows who uh, knows this game, I'm going to be trying to make a costume for Vice, which was the guy in the blue coat that had like the moonstone cutlasses, and I've already got ideas on how to create this and how to work on it, it's just there's not enough time to do it for this year, so this year I'm doing fairly easy costumes. I'm going to go as Krieger from Archer, and I'm going to go as the old man from Legend of Neil. Which, if you don't know what Legend of Neil is, just type it into Google, watch the movies, and just chuckle and laugh because it's that hilariously corny. And But the old man thing will kind of go along with Nancy and Alex doing Zelda because I'll be a, basically a really old character from Zelda but with a snarky and awesome attitude at times. So... I guess that's really just my update this week. Uh, nothing really high on the piracy scale except for, you know, making my scabbard for my swords. And hope y'all have a good time with whatever y'all are up to. Uh, can't wait to hear some more updates.